What's up, guys? It's Tank Soft. So we're gonna be going over all of our weapons today. Yes, sir. All right. Well, what do you want to start? Um, start with go to the right to left. All right. This is his. It is a. What is? Tell me the full name. It's a right. Falcon Tactical. Falcon Tactical Battle Machine Mod C. It's a small, nice QVC. I would, I would totally recommend it. I mean. It's nice and small. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> like really cute. Like I can't describe it. Don't. It's cute. Don't. Don't smash. She's brand new. So, um, I mean, there's nothing really else to say. It's got tactical rails. You can put basically anything you want on it. It's got flip-up sights to start with. Nice, nice stock. Put the battery back here. It's got, it's got, it comes with a plastic mag, but the mag is actually decent. It's high cap. Uh, you got safe, semi, and auto. I'm popular. I just got a Snapchat. Um, this foregrip I put on it, it's really cheap. It's, I mean, it's just there to be there, I guess. But yeah, there's nothing really to say. I totally recommend it. It's a good gun. I'll go to my M4 now. Here is a M4 carbine made by Colt that he gave me. Yeah. And it's like from 2010. It's super old. It's literally broken. But it's still considered like a gun. It's clear. It has actually a nice stock, but that's it. I think it's metal on the inside. Yeah, it is. It's completely plastic on the outside. The internals are all metal. You can't see that. Definitely don't recommend it. Don't. Yeah. Unless you could go back it's in time. Not, yeah. And then uh, you got this. This is mine again. <laughs> you got this. This is like a sixty dollar MP. Not even seven. sixty bucks. You probably get for like fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Terrible. Yeah. Look, here's semi. Look at our shit. Like it's terrible. It's pretty shit. Except for the flip up sights, I would. Yeah, I they're know. Pretty, they're pretty good. Okay. I'm actually gonna put these on my AK. Oh, I don't have an AK. I'm not gonna review one. I don't know. All right, here is my spray painted CO2 pistol. It's a Sig. Uh, it's a Sig. Uh, Sig saucer. It's not a Sig. It's a Sig. It's a Sig Pro. Sig Pro or something. Like that. And it's got a nice feel to it. It's all plastic, but yeah, it has a good amount of FPS. I mean, if you're a beginner, I would recommend getting it. It's only like so it's forty a, bucks on eBay. It's actually a decent size. I would go. I any go, any airsoft gun you're getting, I would recommend going to eBay, because eBay puts every like. There's some people who do not know how to sell airsoft guns. Like that, this is maybe a sixty dollar gun and found it for thirty bucks. Like, it's really nice. For its price. Here's our next gun. This is a spring firepower. This is like 330 FPS. It's the slide is metal, but everything else is just plastic. It feels really good. It's a nice gun. It's actually a pretty nice spring pistol. Oh, I'll be right back. I'm what? gonna go grab my other gun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, so this, it's kind of cheap. But it works. So then we have this. This is my gun again. This is my AK-74U. AG. It's really nice. This thing is really nice. It's 375 FPS. And it's really accurate. This thing's awesome. And then we got my other AK. This is my other AK-74 AEG. It's actually, this one's older. It's probably like three years old. No problems with it at all. It's it's really reliable, this gun. Alright, and then he's going to get his other gun. So, oh, here he is. Right. Where are we at with guns? I finished both of these, so. Okay, so moving on to the last gun. This is my sniper. Um, I love it. It's a great sniper, but only problem, I don't know the name of it. <laughs> UTG Master Gen Sniper. Thank you, sir. I uh, put a GoPro on it. She's really nice. I think she's got 50, 
550? 550, 550, 550 FPS. Yeah. She's a great sniper. I usually bring it or uh with outdoor airsoft. Um it's got way too much uh FPS for indoor. But yeah. Um before we end this video, I just want to talk about safety. So uh when you're in a QB when you're going into a QBC field, you would always want to it's, it's not QBC, it's CQB. Oh, we'll just edit that out. <laughs> a good thing. Thank God for editing. Because you're not even... The, you don't even... You, like, we're they editing this out. We're yeah, they're not even going to know. Yeah. <laughs> so... Gonna, let's, let's put it in. <laughs> before we end the video, I want to talk about oh, safety. I'm going to get my XPG. No, it's a BB gun. The, we're, this is dank soft, not... All right, BB, BB All soft. Right. Whatever you'd like to call or it. Or my M85. I can go right back there. So, we're, let me talk about safety. Um, a good thing to know is to never, to never have your finger on the trigger while, like, when you're not shooting. It's just, it's not safe. You could be ho holding the trigger. You could hit someone. Your finger could be on the trigger. You go fix something and you shoot the kid when he's out. It's just not safe. Always put your finger on the rail. Always be safe enough to be the right there and yeah, like, it takes a little bit to get used to but once you get used to it you'll be able to just go right into it like yesterday this kid uh he hit uh no you said didn't you say bang bang so i was in a cqb yeah, yeah. field at striker airsoft in new jersey great place if you're in new jersey totally recommend it it's in hackettstown um i uh he uh i was in the center of the field and it's like a big like maze in there and i was in there and the kid caught me, and he said, bang, bang. So I go, all right, nice job. I start walking away, and the kid had his finger, finger on the trigger, which you're not supposed to after you shoot someone. You're only supposed to do it when you're firing someone. And he was went to fix his hat, and he shot me in the back of the head, and I was only about five feet away. So just think, maybe I could have been turned around. He could have shot me in the eye. So safety is priority number one. You can never take out safety in holding a gun. Guns are dangerous. Yeah, guns are no joke. But with that, you really gotta have a lot of fun. It's a fun sport. If you're a beginner, totally, totally recommend this gun. It's a great gun. It's right over the hundred dollar price range, but it's really fun. It's just AK two. AK is a good gun. Um, I wanna show them how fast this thing shoots. Safety much. though. Safety's priority number one. Um, what's another good one? Uh. Gun, a barrel sock. Always have a barrel sock. I cannot stress that enough. Barrel socks are needed. If you do not have a barrel sock, you will not be able to go into a CQB field. You will not be able to go anywhere without a barrel sock. Cops can catch you these days. It sucks, yeah. but you gotta always have a barrel sock. Um, always take out your mag when you're not in use of it. Always keep your mag out. Always have it on safe. Just easy things that you know you could do. It's not hard. So I, I want to show them how fast this shoots. All right, so we're using my uh, this is my um, Falcon tactical battery. Yeah, it's a 9.6 volt. It's not a lipo. It's just a uh, local metal hydrate battery. But we need we need lipos. We do. And lipos are so much better. The I I run an 8. Point, I think it's an 8.4 nickel metal hydrate, and it's not that fast. I mean, it's fast, but it's not that good. With this battery in it, listen to how fast this shoots. It's nuts. It's not even. And like, it has kick on it. It's so insane. Yeah. Right. Oh, another thing. <laughs> From last episode, Crytek. Crytek 30 gram. If you got a sniper, get some 30 grams. I mean, they're freaking amazing. 40 grams even better. They're just a lot more expensive. You could probably get these. 3,000 rounds, and maybe 20, yeah, 20, 20, 20, those are a lot of money. Those are if you're lot. like crazy about airsoft and you go to like Europe to play, which you're probably not going to be watching this because you're probably going to be watching like how to fix and upgrade your thing. We're just for like beginners and stuff. Um, you got a sniper like that. Maybe you just want it to be a sniper. Get some 30 gram. They're amazing. Um, or, or if you're rich as hell, get some novice BBs. Because yep. those are really accurate. 4.4? 4.6. Four, 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 six, six, yeah, 4.6. Yeah, those are heavy. Nicely polished. I don't think I've ever seen a C model. Oh, degradable too. 
I've never seen a seam on any of them. Yeah, these I mean, don't have a seam. That's why Crytek totally recommends the Crytek Metal Tag BBs. Um, yeah. If you're wondering about this, don't spray paint your pistol. Yeah, big mistake. I uh, this used to be mine, obviously, and the spray on this, I wanted to do primary and secondary the same the same spray paint. So I went to spray paint this thing, and it literally just looked like a Nerf pistol, like a spray painted Nerf pistol, like. Yeah. I couldn't, I was, I, I Now it looks kind of cool. It looks a little better. I mean, you could have used matte, but. Well, it was matte. It just, I uh, put clear coat over it so it didn't, so the paint didn't wear off. And it just went back to that tan color again. She's nice though. She's a good pistol. Really good pistol. Totally recommend it. Super accurate. And uh, my friend, he has a, uh, I forget what brand it is, but it's a revolver. It's like a 30, 30 to $60 revolver. Has uh, 330 FPS and it's really accurate. I'll put a little thing in the description of, of what it is and where you can get it. It's just actually I'll put all these guns in the description. So good idea. All right, guys, subscribe, like the video, whatever. We're not gonna put like a certain amount of likes because we don't have a million subscriber subscribers. Scoops, 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 subscribers. <laughs> um, yeah, just like it if you see it, please. We're trying to get up. Thank you. Peace out.